Hello and welcome to tutorial number 29 in the Microsoft Visual Basic .NET programming tutorials and this tutorial is going to be really really easy today we're just going to learn how to use a comment and what they used for now I should have created this tutorial in about tutorial 4 or 5 but I forgot about it, I forgot to add it to my content sorry guys but I'll just cover it now so you know what it is so create a new project file new project and name it comments okay so what a comment is is it will allow you to write notes in your code and they won't affect the code at all they will just display green text just giving a little bit of information about the code so go ahead and add a button and it doesn't really matter what you call it or anything just double click it so this private sub comes up and um, we'll make this message box dot show hello um whatever it doesn't really matter okay up here <coughs> we're going to create a comment that will tell us what this does so first of all you need to press the apostrophe key and that is located just above the shift key and two keys left of the enter key on my keyboard uh, on your keyboard it might be a little different but my keyboard that's where it is so once you've pressed that you can type anything you want blah 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 whatever but here we're going to type this button will message the user with hello okay so this is just going to tell anyone who reads our source code what this is going to do now this is very useful if you ever want to share your source code or if you ever want to create a tutorial of your own and upload the source file in the description or whatever and I'm also going to do this put some equal signs doesn't do anything special it just separates well makes it stand out more and I'll, I think it looks better and that's it about on comments it's all comments will do is just think of comments as notes they won't affect your code at all they'll just allow you to write comments in your code and all professional programmers use comments they're going to need to because you'll end up writing huge lines of codes all the way down here and you'll go back to try and change something and forget where it is but the trusty old comments will be able to show you where they are right away so that was it for this tutorial and if you have any suggestions or requests leave a comment or if you have a, qu a question leave a comment and please rate the video and subscribe